Working and getting three down each wing. Light being provided. Team Rocket is very much ready to handle just whatever, really. Around the back side of the ship here. This thing's heading up into the very back of the map. Nope. I don't know if we can squeeze through that or not. I'm gonna say we can't. And Washuna, I'll take you on the ship then. this door. Huh. <laughs> that's that's better. I, I like this door better. <laughs> Can we have more doors like that? I don't know if you did any damage to it just then. Run! Okay, we have Zarquids as well. God, do I ever need Gauss. <laughs> I need it so bad. Yo, how you doing? What up, chef? I almost want to bring Team Rocket onto the ship to fire down that hallway. Because I don't know how to damage you without explosives. Kev, you have a job now. Pass the ball to Ecliptics. This is terrible, Strat Coach. <laughs> Dude's got no strength. Awful idea. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Open the door. Okay, anchors. Your job is twofold. One, enjoy being clonable. Two, uh, I'm going to call it insurance fraud. I don't know what else to call it. Just hang out here for a minute. Uh, we'll be over here. Away from you. To watch your back. Yeah, that's it. Just, just watching your back. I'm, uh, I'm also gonna load explosive in. Just in case. Because symmetry. Everything comes in pairs. Except hallucinoids. I think there's just the three of them so far. Yeah, you don't know what to do, do you? At least you're smart enough not to knock yourself out right away. Good on you for that, squad leader. Still alright out here. Goodness, what is... Okay. Guess we'll get ready for that. Um... Open the door for me. I don't know where it is. Everybody back. <laughs> Jesus criminy. <sighs> Not a fan of sudden Zarquid, man. I'm really tempted to just shoot this thing and kill it. This gill man. There you go. Well done. I love how they misthrow it farther than they could naturally throw it. <laughs> These underwater currents are crazy. All right, are we close to the edge over there? Yeah, we're pretty close to the edge. We There might be like another hallucinoid floating around out there somewhere. But for the moment, it's looking all right. Uh, in the event that you fail with Shuna, 
There hasn't been any MC, so I don't think there's a commander here. Benefit of doing just a large instead of a very large, I suppose. And then... As far as power goes, like, that's kind of the strongest thing we've got right now. As far as, like, underwater stuff goes at, anyway. I guess just in case the hallucinate shows up, we'll keep we'll keep the two of you back for now. We need to catch a breather anyway. Alright. Okay, daddy loader. I need you kinda with me a second. Oops. I hope nothing comes around and murders you now, then. Yeah, I knew it. I thought there was also going to be a single door there. Uh, it might not have been a Zarkwood, actually. It could have also just been a sonic rifle or a cannon. Same sounds. Of course, nobody here... Oh, no, Karen's got a flare. Well, uh... Oops. Get that out there for a bit of light, because I think somebody's coming around to murder. Hmm. The elevator. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. It's a long run for hops. I'll have to come through down the elevator and open two doors to get us, so... I'll take the risk. Rashuna being our plan B over there. Yeah, I think there's just another Gilman in there, because this is looking like it's probably symmetrical. That'll be another one single door that the Zarkwood can't, sh uh, can't fit through. So, yeah, it's just some Gilman who's basically camping because there's really nowhere for them to go over there. Yeah, hi. Gilman, indeed, with just a rifle. Ow! And plenty of time in it, so to do some work. Crap. Help! <laughs> Open the doors for hops. Hops. There's a few up there. <sighs> to save your life, hops. That is the worst, most awfulest sign ever. The door is held open. Open. Open and run. Run! <laughs> These doors are automatic. They always close at the end of the turn. For it to be held open, that means his Arquid is standing on the door, meaning it's actually coming after us, which is not okay. Kieran might be chased by this guy, but he's got a long run to go through and another door to open, and he's also bleeding, so he might pass out? I'm not sure. Anchors will have to just grab a gun and, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Just assist, I suppose. Meanwhile, out here in the wastes, it's looking, it's looking fine. <laughs> I was kind of waiting to see if anything came up to me, because if there's a hallucinator out there, it's probably moving around a bunch, so we'd see it.
doesn't sound like it died. It doesn't sound like it died, but we did blow the door off the hinges, which is a pretty nice positive. Nice. Good job, Karen. Just in case that wasn't the same one, fall back a little more. Um, I guess let the die do its thing over there. Dude, this elevator is... This is a rough spot. Okay. What? He's there. Uh... Cannot shoot through elevators, huh? Really? Really? Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure we had this already. <laughs> some doors for me. Anchors has, Anchors has got places to be over here. And, uh... Yeah, geez, screw that hallway, man. We're going this way. This Zarquid might be bleeding out. I don't know if it bleeds. No idea. Let's get some people... back up in here. We can get Team Rocket down off the, uh, off the rooftop if necessary. For now, I just need manpower. We're not clogging this elevator well enough, though, is the thing. This guy's... Hopefully he gets confused and is like, why can't I go down here? That's so strange. What's wrong with the elevator? And he wastes his turn. Yeah, all right. Excellent. So, I can clog elevators, then. Two soldiers. This is good to note. This is the way that I prefer it, because there's a lot of ships and layouts that if you can't clog an elevator at all, it's, it's like, impossible to do it without losing people. This is the angles and line of sight is... It's too finicky, otherwise. I think. If if you don't like clogging elevators, then don't, I guess. I th you, you, nobody's forcing you to. But when things are designed around you, like, not being able to, because... You know, it, it doesn't fully make sense, I guess. It's, I suppose it depends on the tech, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. But uh, I think you got a lot more UFO ship building freedom when you can block an elevator. It's just a way for the player to be able to handle things a bit easier. Like, the easier you make it for a player, the easier you make it for yourself for making a, a ship layout or so. Otherwise, the player just ends up throwing people into this mill that is the, the USO, and you just you can't do it without losing people, and that's very frustrating. All right, Hops, wake up. Oh, hi. <clears throat> that was quick. All right. Well, I'm a little tempted to take that shot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everybody out! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> mm. Neophyte.
Okay, you were a soldier? Yeah. We need grenades. Do we not open that door again? Let's keep it closed. We're gonna call that room secure. Let's do a little bit of teamwork here, yeah. Shuffle you over a bit. Team Rockets kind of sort of got your back anyway. It's fine. I don't think you're the same person, though. I think who I saw over there had a pistol. All right, Hops, you doing all right? Here, have some coffee. You good? Okay. I'm sorry I had to do that. You were in a bit of a rough spot, and I didn't want to risk it. You kidding me? It's nuts. Locked in now. That was a squad leader. I guess we could kind of combine bodies again. We're clearing here. It's a room that we can use to maybe take out the Zarkwood. Reload you with explosive next turn. Somebody can open the door, step back, and maybe you can uh, blast it. Alternatively, do any of us have Magna Blast or Proximities? Magna Blast is 70. The Proximities are also 70. Okay. High explosive, both of them, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they bleed. I actually don't know. All oh, right, we got a couple up here too. I guess we can lock some into this closet too. <laughs> What a room. Hi. I'm Cotton. I'll be your door guard for the day. Then, yeah, you can also just, like, funnel them into that room or something. Just house them while we wait for proper grenades to get up here. Sh shoot. You are a jerk. You opened the door so the Zark would sh could shoot through. That's not very bueno, friend. I think. Or just in case that happens again. <laughs> Noted. I thought it was just a Zarkwood in there. Man. Assumptions, ladies and gentlemen. I guess anchors can help with this. Good throw. Yeah. Bring them together. Have you stand, like, inside the room, in the doorway? So, Washuna. <clears throat> Get you ready with a name shot. There's one. I, I guess there's two. Go fetch. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> Ghost pants, just come along. Don't worry about that guy. Yeah, 
that crap. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully nobody comes through that door. In case the pistols comes comes through. Hmm, there is still the sideway that we gotta handle as well. for the moment. Yeah, we'll have Cav open this door. Kieran can open this door then. And uh, then just like step back and we can try to shoot through if it's there and hope it's enough damage to bring it down. <laughs> Since it's not up there though, we can be pretty certain that it's down here. I don't know if it's gone through the doorway though. We kind of want to take care of this situation up here first before we do anything else. Man, I gotta trudge through the mud. <laughs> yeah, well. Get on the pile. Um. And yeah, truthfully, I'd like to be in that room, but oh well. Because I can't... If they wake up, there's not a lot I can do. Because <laughs> they're probably going to just, like, pop through the wall at you. So, there's a rifle. Get hops through and see how we're doing here. There's some augmented jerk down there. His pants is ready. Still not seeing anything. Fine. Yeah, that's the dude with just like the weird exoskeleton thing. That's a technician, right? I think we've done that. Done that game before. We could probably just kill him. I'm more afraid of him opening the door for the Zarkwood, though. There. Second proper grenade. Oh, hey. You, you, you came to me. Hey. Yeah, technician. Scoop. <laughs> the moment it collapses, you're just like, whoop. <laughs> Hoovering him up real quick. Okay, yellow Victini, come through. That's a tricky little... With those two things being closet, so that ain't too bad. It's just a little kind of nasty hidey hole, but you can enter turn there and probably be safe. But it's a lot of areas that loop together. It's like there's two ways into every room, which is manageable with enough people. If you only had four soldiers at this point, though, this would be hell. That'd be very unfun to have to do. Oh, yeah, your strength is awful. 64 out of 24. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh... Throw the one over there. We're still okay. It's like worst case scenario. It's still just standing there if it's not dead. I don't see its body, so I'm pretty sure it's still alive. Okay, and that might be the last thing. It might just be the one Zarquid up there. Or this guy camping down here. Oh, we 
doing. Oh yeah. Yeah, fine lineup. Is there not a pistol over here though? Maybe it was the rifle. Fantastic throw. You just like whoosh right around the corner. Uh yeah, just keep working your way up, that's fine. You got it, I believe. I think that might be that one dead. The thorough will slam shot and you should be okay. It doesn't seem to be bleeding. So there that's that's some news, I guess. And we're gonna work our way up and get the other one. Probably through Hops' angle because it's a bit cleaner. I guess. <sighs> uh, yeah, I don't know if the technician- if they have like inherent melee because of that suit. The technician might choke you out. Yeah, alright. I thought I saw a pistol over there, but I guess not. Yeah, it's just the ones I quit upstairs then. That one's dead. Blew the door right off the hinges. Good job, Neophyte. I'll deliver this body, and I'll see you when Neophyte's ready. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, ghost pants. I forgot I had ghost pants here for this. Right on. That might be already enough. I forgot I already had ghost pants there, ready to head up. Neophyte was only bringing, like, the extra extra. Of course. Ugh, good throw. Well done. Man, what a workout for you, huh? A lot of, a lot of lug in a body around. Yeah, okay, got him. Wait, there's another one? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Whew, okay. Five operatives killed! Eight live aliens, though. 801 points. Ten more ZR bite and plastics. I feel like we're doing pretty alright with that. And these big ships are extremely nice for that. And ten more ion beam accelerators helps our monetary situation out a bunch as well. More general stat ups. More importantly, it's more work to be done in, uh, you know. The base area there. The Mediterranean, just general vicinity. Yeah, squad leader soldiers. The technician I'm pretty sure we can get rid of. I'll double check that at the base though. Uh, Zarquid corpses, Gilman corpses. Yeah, because I don't need another Zarquid corpse. Hallucinated corpses are going. All right. Good. Deal. Plastic harpoon clips, med kits, tasers. Also, pick up more magna blast grenades because we just like never have them anymore. There. In the med kit and harpoon clip, we can we can work on that. Uh, harpoon, plastic harpoon clip. Get like another ten. Or so. Yeah, that won't take very long. Anson, Luke is at, and unsurprisingly, Commander Hops just rolling through the promotions because I think it was saving up all your experience. Tan the first, Rayo the second, Rubik, Thundir, the few. Rest in peace. Man, it's always a shame losing the uh, unclonables, but. At the rate we're going, we might be looping around the list, so like... <sighs> how many clonables did we lose just to two that time? I think we're okay just to pick up two more Aquanauts then. 
We've already got the few heading up uh, in two hours. And also ten more technicians. Excellent. So they can work on the harpoon clips to get those done a little bit faster. Research. Yeah, the technician we've already got queued up, so we can get ready, yeah. Uh, Zarquid and Hallucinoid Corpse. Hallucinoid Corpse is queued up as well, so we can get rid of that too. Zarquid Corpse I don't think we queued up. I'm pretty sure I don't care about it either, but... They're almost three million, uh, just over three million bucks now. That's feeling pretty nice. I feel like we could get a bit of work happening here at the resort. Like a living quarters and a workshop. You've already got the general stores. Um. Hmm. I think just for now, I'll leave it be. You can just generate some money then for us. And then just like a couple soldiers there to help out. It's one of those deals where it's like, if the base gets taken, then it gets taken, you know? It's not a, not a huge thing for me. We gotta though, like we, we have to figure out how to get either Ion Armor Research or get MC. I think I just go for Ion Armor next. Just so we have better armor, because I, I really don't want to do the base without one or the other, but I, I really have to do this base. I I don't want that thing. I don't know what the changes were for the missions, and I don't know what a tier 3 base did in the first place. But I assume letting a tier 3 base that you know about sit around for very long is an awful idea. We've also got a terror mission to be doing here pretty soon. Those have been happening around the middle of the month lately. There's the harpoon clips. Uh, work on this more, eh? I guess I could pick up another... 10 technicians, too. We got the money for it. Tasers and grenades. Get those on. Yeah, I didn't have many Magnaplast grenades on. I think because I had the ZR by pulse grenades, I hadn't, like fully converted over to that, but I'm getting to the point where I probably may as well. 80 Sonic Pulsers I've got now. Uh, I was thinking ZR Bite, but no, yeah, I guess it is, um... It, it is the Pulsers that I'd be wanting the most. We could get the ZR Bite Gas Cannon Ammo made up, though. One Pulsar, one ZR Bite, two Plastics to make two ammo. So we can just do like six of that. It doesn't take a huge amount of time to do. I feel like I'd also want the Gauss Craft Weapons um, before I really use the Moray, but we can poke around and see. Like, worst case, we like get into a fight and we can retreat. It's not like we have those aggressive UFOs that we fight sometimes, or when they're aggressive and they attack you, they just they they just go into like melee range with their ship. Like you literally cannot escape. That's just not an option. So since we don't have that, oh yeah, oops, training. <laughs> also naming crap. Was that everybody that came in then? Oops. Yeah, because we don't have those aggressive ships right now, then uh, I'm quite happy actually using the Moray and seeing what it can and can't do. 